Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video we are tackling some moon satellite contracts in order to make some money to soften the blow from the failed Mars flyby contract we have, we have here. We haven't technically failed it yet but we don't have a transfer window in which we can complete it in time so it will fail and we will lose 550,000 funds so we need some funds so that we can go on to do other missions. We also need science so that we can do interplanetary missions. Right now we don't have uh, communications that can survive in an atmosphere and still communicate back from a different planet. So we need to unlock that technology which means we need science and so we are also going to land stuff on the moon. So we have this science data from the surface of the moon contract and we also have the two satellite contracts for the moon and we're going to try and do all of the above and we are going to do that with a photon lander so it occurs to me that people might not be aware that this photon stage is a real thing uh, this photon interplanetary stage is a stage that rocket lab is building uh, for the electron rocket to deliver a venus atmospheric probe so the venus atmospheric probe would sit on top of it it'll just have a little uh, heat shield. It'll be a very simple thing. It's not meant to survive to the surface or anything like that. But the photon interplanetary stage has to be able to carry that all the way to Venus on its own. The, ro the rocket will only get it to low Earth orbit. And uh, it might even have to complete orbit somewhat because uh, its mass is about 300 kilograms. It might be a little bit plus or minus that because we don't know the exact stats on it. But as far as Delta V is concerned, in order to get to Venus, it can't be uh, too much different from this and in this case it's not carrying the the little entry capsule for Venus the atmospheric probe but it is carrying some fairly lightweight lander legs because we've tweaked scaled them down and we've got some extra RCS uh, ports here and some science and extra solar panels all that is very minor mass so yeah this is what we've got and that's the Delta V we have so anyway but that's where it comes from uh, it is a thing what fuel it would use, I, I assume it's going to be hypergolic of some kind. Uh, the real thing might use um, hydrazine, though I don't think it would get enough efficiency given this is the actual volume of it. Uh, so we know the volume. Uh, we could see on their mock-up the spherical tanks. So uh, yeah, uh, it's probably going to be some sort of hypergolic MMH Mon 3 thing, but I'm not sure. But in any case, we're using one of the Sure Strut engine MMH and Mon 3 engines. And it's a one kilonewton engine, no throttling, but many ignitions. Uh, it has 40. So we will try to land with that. And feed pressure is okay and all that business. So, yep. And we are launching it on a standard SE2060 launcher with an SE2060 engine at the bottom. We've used this before. And uh, we will need to relight the upper stage. This one is a engine two vacuum. And Engine 2, <laughs> the problem with these names is that I always forget, okay, so it's a launcher space one, Engine 2. Anyway, uh, for Rocket 1, right, launcher space, yes. Uh, I picked that because of its 365 second vacuum ISP, it uses kerosene. Basically, a lot like a one of Baran's um, OMS engines or the engine on Block D from the Soviet Union. Though, I don't know how they get that kind of efficiency when it's not a staged combustion engine. Unless it is a staged combustion engine. Anyway, that is our configuration and we're going to build two of these. One will be one satellite around the moon, the other will be another satellite around the moon. And then we will see which one can land. There's one that's going to be in a lower orbit. But they have to get into very particular orbits, so we have to be careful. Okay, so that being the case, let's... Uh, Let's not have that fairing go there. We will build two and see what happens. We have up we have one upgrade point. Well um VAB is probably best. Okay, rolling out our first one. Obviously the interesting thing here will be comms. We have some stuff around the moon, but there's no guarantee it'll help. Let me go ahead and configure my windows finally. Uh, orbit info in the corner will be... Well, we might want this this window because the information 
around the moon will be easier to deal with. Oh geez, I just realized I was muted. Sorry. Okay, we're past the speed of sound. Everything looking fine. Okay, that was good first stage. Separation and ignition. And fairing set. Oh, I want stage time down there. Forgot about that. And shut down. 186 by 163. Yeah, we'll need about 400 meters per second from the photon stage, but that'll be fine. We are doing the burn over the Indian Ocean, which is normally a tough spot, which is why I originally wanted my geosynchronous satellite to be over the Indian Ocean, but it's drifted off over to the Pacific. Well, completing the burn with the photon stage means it will be concluded more accurately because with this stage we've got more than 4 G's right now and it'll be much more than that when it gets close to its end. So it's probably for the best. You do have boil off of the oxygen. So comms, well we have that delta stage that seems to be relaying stuff through. Yeah, we are getting comms through that Delta stage, but that relies on it maintaining communications with everywhere, including Madagascar, apparently. I realized there was a place in Madagascar. But for now, that's our ray of hope right there. Oh, wait, uh, we do have a line to somewhere in the middle of the Indian Ocean. I don't know what island that would be, but... That's not Reunion or anything like that, is it? I thought I was closer to Madagascar. Anyway. Well, we'll try it. It's not a very long burn, so... And actually, this stage can run to depletion. Okay, separation and ignition. All good here. Get that little antenna out. Okay, and shut down. That was deviating. And let's see where we are at. Let's see, get rid of that one. Um, that's fine. That's a fine moon periapsis. We'll just keep that. Um, though, actually, we need to get into particular orbits. So, there's the low one that's like that. And there's the high one that's like that. The, uh, if we can do the low one with this, we can land it. And then we can take the landing legs off of the other one, maybe. Or just keep them on, I don't know. Let's see. So I'm going to add a maneuver to try and match this over a little bit better. But we're not really in the right phase for it. We're not really in the right phase for either one. So we're going to have to do a inclination adjustment either way. Uh, might as well capture low first, then. Yeah, uh, let's not do any of that yet. We'll capture, loose, and then make some further adjustments after that. We've got soul panels all over the place here. Hopefully some of them will help us. Okay, we are in moon SOI. Yeah, I, I, and no matter what I do, it's going to be like 90 degrees off, so... Alright, we will just continue to periapsis and capture. If we want to land, we have about 1,400 to work with as far as getting into that orbit. Uh, six day period? I guess I'll take it. Oh wait, I can't take it. It, it doesn't agree with what's on the map. Okay, we'll take that then. Okay, that's a pretty good match, right? That's even more in line. Okay, I think that would be good, and then we pull it down, and that should do the trick. 
I wonder why we're getting less sunlight like this. We were fine on the way here. Got all those solar panels on top. Wait. Blocked by arrow shielding. Well, that sort of explains it. What, what arrow shielding? <laughs> what arrow shielding is blocking you? There's no arrow shielding. Okay, yeah. Well, that explains why they're not working, huh? Can't even see where the moon is. Okay, anyway. Go. Okay, and shut down. Looks pretty good to me. It's reading negative one degree difference there. Let's bring the orbit down. Nice view. Nice height, actually, around the moon. Sort of a full moon view here. Now, we're a little bit off, but it's probably okay for the contract. We need a... I mean, we're sort of out of line with where our periapsis ought to be, but it's a nearly circular orbit, so 900 kilometers is what we're aiming for. Ignition. Okay, trying to control that periapsis a bit. Okay, well, that's 900 on average. Does it like it? Okay, it likes it. Maintaining stability. All right. We have that contract complete. Let's uh, clear all this stuff. Good times. Now we should try to transmit or recover scientific data from the surface of the moon. We have 2800, which is enough for a moon landing from this height. We obviously want to land on the side facing the Earth, which is currently lit, so that's fine. I don't think we've landed over here before. And I'm in the mood to just come straight down. So let's zero out that. I'm trying to bring the orbit a little bit closer to the center line of the crater. We landed over there before. Lunar lander. Very descriptive. Okay, we'll give ourselves some lead time maybe. Um, let's test our instruments. Okay, done that stuff. All right. Some recovery value though, which is surprising because that's just barometer, thermometer, accelerometer data. So I don't know why now we get recovery value. I thought we got full value from just transmitting that stuff. No, oh, why don't we get some surface info to check what biome it might be? Moon's lowlands. Well, except I don't actually know which biomes I've done, so. Ignition failure on the engine. Is it gonna do another ignition though? Okay, well, let's activate again. Ignite? Okay, now it's okay. But that could be troublesome on landing, you know, in the final landing phase. I don't want it to have an ignition failure like that. I think it's just above the moon's major craters. Have Rocket Lab thought about making the photon stage into a lunar lander? I sort of want to see what Mechjib thinks the suicide burn thing is, but... Our stage time is 2 minutes and 32 seconds. That's 2 minutes 30 seconds. I think we're probably going to need to use all of it, so... Yeah, it's just major craters. Well, let's hope. You're down, and... Ignition. Okay, what does Mechjeb say about the suicide burn? It's gotta be a long time anyway. Well, it says we're way early. Okay, we'll trust it this time. Okay, that's a long suicide burn time now. Okay, kill rotation there, stop. Oh, uh, we might have been too early. Well, we were definitely too early. We might have been too early in a few ways. <laughs> Let's see. 
Well, at least it ignited. Oop, I didn't want to go up. Nah. Well, we're gonna have to do this sort of thing. Okay, we have compressed. Off, 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 off. Nope, nope, stop. Stop. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I've never seen the- I, I've seen the ground shaking. I've never seen it actually affect the vessel before. That's new. Okay, but we're landed, right? Okay. Uh, yes. Transmit the temperature scan. Okay. Atmospheric pressure scan. Good. And gravity scan. Serious gravity scan. Wobble wobble. Okay, we got that contract done. Let's see if we can get another lunar landing contract uh, to go with the other satellite that we're going to do. But so far, success. Oh, but we can't go back to Space Center because it's wobbling too much. Leaving flight will abandon the mission. I don't want to abandon the mission. Is there something we can do? I guess we can lift it off briefly and smash it into the ground. Yeah. Alright, there. You happy? Game? Okay. So, we've got another one building. Let's take a look at a contracts. Build and use surface outputs on the moon. That was the liquid fuel one that I need to figure out. Um, science data from space around the moon. Well, I mean, I guess we might as well take it since we're going there. But we only have one spare contract space remaining. Landing contracts. Venus landing. Crude lunar landing. I guess that's how it'll have to be. All right. We will do the next one and see if we can land in a different location and get some more science. Uh, we should try and unlock something new. We really wanted comms. But we need to upgrade the R&D building as well. That's another problem. Uh, to get the comms we want... Precision engineering, I think. That's not even all that great, but at least it's combinable. And that means we need to unlock the R&D building for how much? 800,000. So that's what we're saving up for at this point. Well, it's going to be a stretch. We could, I think we need, we are going to need to porcupine the comms for the early interplanetary missions. In other words, put a whole lot of combinable antennas together. Otherwise, I don't see it working. Unless I make a new part. <laughs> That's always an option. I could decide that it is necessary to make a new part. We'll see. Okay, so same idea, but we're getting into that high satellite orbit. And I don't know whether we're going to be able to land to get the science, but we'll see. So, throttle up. SAS on. Ignition. Alright. And launch. Okay, above 30,000 meters, and we are on our way. Everything looking good. And it was a good first stage. Staging. And fairings. And shut down, 218 by 165. Alright, and we've got a little bit more than last time, but not a whole lot more. I wonder if we if it would be better if we just go high and capture here. I mean that's approximate, but a thousand two hundred might be just plain easier and less annoying. But I think capturing low is better still. Okay, ignition. 
Okay, and separation and ignition. Okay, shut down. And let's see what the situation is. Okay, that's better. But obviously we have a lot of work to do when we get there, so... Okay, we are recharging. Let's go over to the moon. Always nice to be able to say that. <laughs> um, nicer to be able to say that we're going to a different planet, but still. Now, comms... Uh, the problem of going around this way is that we tend to lose comms at periapsis. This is the Apollo way, if you will. But we might have some satellites to help us with that. Might. Forgot about our little relay antenna on top here. We still do have communication thanks to triple cube launch satellite over there. Okay, that should do. Now, trying to get into that orbit. is actually pretty painful from this orbit. <laughs> oh, geez. Maybe we, sh we should have just done the straight capture. Uh, we should have captured into the high orbit. That would have been a lot easier. Well, we're going to do that first, then at where the two orbits cross, we're going to have to flip it. Okay, look at how far out from the moon we have to get here. Okay, shut down there. Um, let's see. Guess that the sending node there will be the next spot. Either way, I think we were gonna spend about 1200 here. It's probably good enough for the contract, we'll see. Oh, uh, there's Earth and the moon. We can barely see the moon there though. And go. Okay, and shut down. Right, is that good enough? No. <laughs> no, it is not. Yeah, that was a push. Uh, okay. Let's see where we've gone wrong here. I guess it's just inclination. I don't see a lot else. Oh, from this view, it looks a little bit messed up. Okay. Go. Okay. Uh, it was happy for a sec there. Happy with that. All right. Seems worse than where we were headed, but... All right. It is satisfied. So we can go for a landing now. But... We want to hit a different biome. And it's got to be tougher because we're in this high orbit. So this time I'm, I can't do it in the sort of messed up way that I did last time. Anyway, that'll put us on a pass close to the surface on the lit side facing the Earth. And we'll see what we can do from there. Burn. It's okay to be early. That'll suit me fine in this case. We just need to get to uh, serviceable periapsis. I think maybe over here would be nice. We'll see how it's rotated. This is getting to be a bit of a stretch though for the comms. I don't, I mean looking at our speed we just don't have a lot of margin here to actually make this work. We needed to do some science around, oh we've got the possibility of doing gravity scan from Mare Nubium. So, we had a contract for that. Science data from space around the moon, done. I didn't really want the periapsis to go down. Yeah, we can't do very much right now. Let's just try and hit the surface and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. We don't have a landing contract anyway. This time we'll just sort of strict suicide burn countdown this maybe. I don't see that we have much of a choice. Okay fine, one minute of burn time. 
We'll just follow that suicide burn countdown. We're probably going to have to lithal break a bit. A lot. A lot. Probably a lot of lithal break. And go. Oh no, it's counting up. Shoot. Well, whatever. Ah, uh, now it's way early. Gosh darn it. Whatever. Let's see. Will litho breaking work? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it won't. Okay, well, one moonlander happened. The other one, not so much. But we got all the relevant contracts done. So, yeah. But not enough science, technically. We wanted 160 science for the next technology. We've got 133 now. So, science data from space around Mars. That gives us a lot of time, though, at least. Maybe we should do the porcupine antenna situation. And, you know, that's doable anyway. We don't have to enter the atmosphere. So, we have an antenna that can stay outside the atmosphere and work. Mercury flyby is a lot. <laughs> that's a lot to ask. There's this successful reentry contract. I mean, we've done it before, but we need money. So, I think we should do that, just for the money. There's, uh, mm -hmm. adjusting that satellite, but there's a new moon satellite. We're gonna pick that up, even though I don't like to repeat stuff so often. We totally need to get money, so we will pick that up. New orbital station around Earth. It's another liquid fuel thing. Now... I still have to take a look at those contracts. I don't know how to get rid of that necessarily. Well, Mars flyby, we're going to fail, but we're probably going to get a repeater one, maybe, hopefully. At that point, we'll probably want to get this science data from space around Mars. It's got a long duration anyway, so I'll pick that up as well. Okay, so we've got some contracts, and we will see next time. Uh, what the order of operations is, but that successful re-entry will have to be a thing, but we'll see what we can package with that to make sure that we get some science. Uh, unlocking the R&D building is almost okay, but remember, we're going to fail that Mars flyby contract, so we're going to lose 550,000, which means we just barely do not have enough. So, yeah. Anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any com comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.